Welcome everyone and let's discuss a very common question which almost everybody has that what is Selenium IDE, WebDriver, Grid, Maven, what are these things? Okay, if I talk about IDE then Selenium IDE is basically a plugin. It, it's a plugin inside your browsers like Mozilla, Chrome. Alright, the, in these two browsers it gets installed as a plugin. Basically it's a record and run tool. Every automation tool uh, has got a feature of record and run. Selenium IDE has that record and run feature in which you can record your scripts and create the scripts. But the thing is this tool will generate no reports. You can record the scripts, you can run the scripts but no reports will be generated and it's not a very reliable tool as well. If you record a test script and if you run it five times Three times it will run fine, but two times it will certainly give you some issues. Okay, and moreover, it's not a very professional tool which you can decide to use with 5000 test cases. If a client wants to automate 5000 test cases, you cannot simply use Selenium IDE for that. Right, so that, that's why we have a better professional tool known as Selenium Web Driver, which is used by the companies professionally. Fine. This tool obviously requires one of the programming languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript. One of these languages are required for Selenium WebDriver. And you can work on all the major browsers with this. And you can create dynamic scripts. What do you mean by dynamic scripts? Suppose a website like uh, CNN.com, it's a news website. Every one hour they update the website. Every day the complete website changes. So it's a dynamic website. So in order to automate those kinds of websites, Selenium WebDriver helps us a lot. Fine, the content is changing very frequently on that site. Okay, and moreover, it will help you generate good and better HTML reports. HTML reports like extent reports, for example, this is a sample extent report over here it's got like the messages the log messages that what happened in the test case at every point right in between you can report a minor failure as well and continue with the test case after reporting the failure or you can just stop on this particular line as well all right so that is why web driver is preferred over ide as a beginner you can directly learn web driver and you can skip ide as well Fine. And one more important uh, tool is there which is known as Selenium Grid which helps us to run the web driver scripts parallelly in order to save time. These are the three major components IDE, web driver and grid. These are the three major components of Selenium. In Selenium Grid we have a central machine. That central machine is known as a hub. We keep the code on the hub. Fine the web driver scripts basically they are on the hub and we connect this hub to different other machines these machines are known as node machines all right and the scripts when they execute they execute parallelly on these node machines hence what we get is that we actually end up saving time plus we also have the benefit that we can run the scripts on different platforms like our first machine can be a Windows machine, the second one can be a Mac and third one can be a Linux. So you can run the same script on different machines or you can distribute your script and save time. It's completely your choice. Okay, so these are the three major components IDE, WebDriver, Grid. Now what is Maven? If I tell you about Maven then the first thing is that you have to configure Maven on your PC. It's not installed. Okay, it is configured on your PC and then uh, in order to understand it, uh, you have to basically understand one simple example that is suppose you have a team, you have a team of say two people A and B and you distribute your scripts among A and B, A starts building the scripts, B also starts building the scripts but suppose A uses Selenium 4 and B uses Selenium 3.14 version which is actually not good. Every team member should be working on the same version so that when the code merging is there in the end, there should be no issue. 
all right but a is not knowing that b is working on this version and b is not knowing that a is working on this version so that creates a misunderstanding and a problem in the future to avoid this we use maven in maven we have first of all we have to configure maven on everybody's pc both a and b will configure maven on their pcs and then we have a file known as pom.xml this is a configuration file in which we note down all the versions of the jars and the basically the softwares which we'll be using for example this is a sample pom.xml file in which this is a quite old file okay in this file i have said that say i am using the test ng version 6.9.6 .6. i am using a uh, selenium version 3.5.3 .3. although we have selenium 4 now but this is just a dummy example so in this file we mention the versions of all the jars we are going to use all the dependencies which we are going to use and then we distribute this file among the team members both the team members will have the same pom.xml file on their pcs what maven will do maven will go and read this pom.xml it will read that fine okay test ng this version is required uh, selenium this version is required and then it will go and connect to the online maven central repository there are central repositories on the internet okay it connects to them and downloads those particular dependencies with those particular versions on your pc so this way if all the team members have the same pom.xml all the team members will have same versions all right and that's what the primary objective of maven is that uh, basically it ensures the matching versions and secondly there is one more advantage that it helps you to build and run the project on shell what do you mean by on shell for example i want to run my scripts on a command prompt through a command prompt how do i run it i can use eclipse right i run run the uh, scripts through eclipse but if i have to run through command prompt then i will have to use maven sometimes you have a unix shell you have to execute the scripts on unix shell where you don't even have eclipse so over there maven will help you to run the scripts on the command prompt as well or through the shell as well so this is what maven is and it helps you in two ways one is running the scripts and other is to ha help you have the same versions of jars